Um, big plans for that. My problem is diversity extortion mafias. We're in Gamergate 2. Did you know no, that? No, don't say Trump's that. Winning. You're going to will it into existence. It's already willed, man. Your guys just can't keep their fucking mouths shut. <laughs> First of all, not my guys. Oh, they're your, they're the teamiest of team no, guys. No, 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 oh, no, 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 mama. no, 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 I broke ways with that team very publicly Ooh. in a number of ways. So Sweet Baby Incorporated is run by a racist, a violent racist activist. Um, who wants to wait? Who wants it? to assault and pro- possibly kill white people? In Was the that street. the black lady giving the 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 speech? Uh, yeah, that's the yeah. president, CEO. Oh. Yeah, here's. Uh, I, I think just... I have some of her tweets that say we need to hit white people more. That's not her, is it? No, that's, that's Kiss. The, that's the guy Kiss who. Uh, Kindred. Is that a guy or a lady? I I'm sure I don't know. No. I'm sure I'm not qualified to make that to make uh, that decision assessment. Here is. Uh, the co-founder of Sweet Baby Inc., Kim Belair, uh, proudly explains the methods she used to force bosses at game studios to. So it's a company that um, calls themselves a, a, a narrative consulting company. Yeah. So game studios hire them because they uh, hire poorly uh, well, to write their games. You, you don't know that necessarily. Literally, it, that's the definition of what's happening. Uh, the well, people they hired to do the narrative cannot do it. So they you hire. Don't, you don't. You, that's not how that works. Uh, excuse me? If you either write the narrative or you don't. If you're not doing a good job, right, so long. But you take it. For instance, I wrote my comic and then I get notes from people. Oh. So okay, they provide so notes. You, oh, so, so, if I'm, I say, I'm bad. so if I say <laughs> this is something you do and you can't do something, it, it reflects on you. Okay. So you object to it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find the. Oh, yeah. Uh, Do you want to play that? Video? Oh no, I'm sorry. This is the this is the woman who wrote the cover, the uh, PR release for them. Alyssa Mercantile. More white people need to get their ass beat on the regular. That's uh, that's a distraction. Um, she work for the company. Sure, so that's a whole different. You're thing. right. That's a whole different thing. That's, that's, a, that's game, a gaming magazine. That's a, so they they found a Steam group that was. Were you gonna play that video? Do you want to get no, play I don't that even clip? Care. Who cares? No, play it. I think it's relevant. Um, no. Okay. Uh, they found a Steam group that was identifying games that had that worked with this consulting. Let's make it clear what this company is. So this is a scam. consulting. Co- Shut up. This is a company that if you're making a video game, and you, you didn't can, hire somebody who could write a story. Sure, they are a company full of supposedly good SJW writers. SJW activists okay, who come prob- in and force you to make every character black and wo- a woman and gay, <laughs> a black lesbian. Gonna, they come in and they say, no. "Hey." Literally yes. No, they don't. Literally yes. They every single fucking person. They say, uh, so the main character make her uh, a black lesbian, and then if you object, Hold. they get they no. s- they tell everybody that you're a racist, and they try to get you either fired or they try to destroy your uh, the reputation of your Look, game. I know it's funny to say stuff like that. Hundred percent accurate. What it's I'm saying. Not one hundred percent accurate. Mm-hmm. Okay, these are games. Somebody link me. Somebody link me the interview she gave where she said it. If there's an interview where she said it, great, and get the link. But here's what happens is you're working on a game. You get to a certain point. Actually, they do all sorts of different things. But one example would be you get to a certain point in the process, and you go, okay, you know, we have the basic script laid out, and we have the first whatever. Uh, we just want someone to go over it and make sure that it is not culturally offensive in some way. Mm-hmm. It's going to cause bad PR for the company. And uh, Somebody goes through it, and they go, okay, well, here, you know, you have a scene where a black guy is in chains, uh, being dragged through the street, that might make people uncomfortable. Uh, uh-huh. And, uh, you know, and they'll advise you, you know, here's some way you might want to change that if you do want to change that. Dick is saying that they come in and get to change your plot and you don't have a say in it. No, I'm saying they come in and they say, every character you have, make it a black lesbian. <laughs> and if you don't, I'll go on the internet and I'll ruin your life, the developer, and I'll ruin your company's game. Come on, man. This is just, that's just. <sighs> It's 100% true. I know we're doing like. You're joking because. I know we're you, doing a comedy show. I'm not doing a comedy bit at all. That is 100% what they do. That is not what they do. Okay. Let's listen, let's listen to it in sure. her own words. Uh, let me find it. So that made me defend them because I obviously have problems with this practice. Because you're a but team guy. You're taking it too far. It's not you that You are 100% extreme. a team guy. They can't come in and say you got to make all the characters black. They can advise you. For instance, they gave an example. There was an example. There was like a. They bl- threaten you if you don't. That's not what they. They can't is. change it themselves because they don't know okay, how to do you're anything. You're interpreting this as a threat. It's not a threat. Here you go. For many many years. There's um, a CEO talking at a game convention about how you threaten 
uh, game owners and dev staff into making all your characters <laughs> black lesbians. Okay. Put this stuff up to your higher ups. It says build connections with marketing to express the value of inclusion. AAA games. Okay. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Um, if you're Okay, so explain to me what it's you called think. called the mafia. Explain to me what you think she just said. Um, I think she said, uh, I don't have data to back up making every character a black lesbian. So what you do is you take the people who serve no purpose at a game studio, the marketing department, you take them out and you gas them up with strategies on how to manipulate, um, emotionally manipulate the people in their organization with bad press if they don't make your main character a black lesbian. Well, oh, I think you got it a little bit backwards. She's saying, and again, I don't, you know, this is her obviously trying to make deals. I get it. But she's saying if you're working at a company narratively and you want to hire a consulting firm and you're getting pushback because it's going to cost money, just go to your marketing team and say, well, here's the reason you should hire them is what if there's a big PR crisis, you know, we could that we create. You're okay. See, that's what's crazy is you're saying they created that company will create a PR crisis. All if you of don't them, fire, hire all of them. these activists work together to create constant. P Nobody gives a fuck about uh, inclusivity in games. They made this up just like Mad Men, where they make up problems. Like every marketing okay. department on earth makes up a problem and then says, "Here's the solution. It's Q-tips." Doesn't this happen to you? Where you're spilling popcorn all over. Here's the solution: a black lesbian in your game. That's all made up. It's the that's the cornerstone of marketing, making up a problem. There's no, there's no diversity in this game. There's no inclusivity. People love it. Look at my, look at my friend, a journalist. Right. Look at my, look at my friend over here. She's a story coordinator. They're all fat women with dyed, with uh, dyed hair and shaved sides of their heads. We all agree. We need more inclusivity. And guess what? I've got the answer. <laughs> you are alleging like a coordinated cons conspiracy from this company that if you do not hire from them, all of them, they have friends. Who will then write hit pieces about your video game? Right. Okay. Uh, this and give is me a, you have zero examples one, of this ever happening. Well, every single piece of game journalism is this. The woman that I told, the woman that I showed you the tweet of that said white people need to get their ass beat more often right. is the journalist that right away runs a screen for Sweet Baby Inc. Saying I went in there and tried to dox everyone in their Discord and I couldn't figure out what was going on. But what you think is happening is not happening. There's no conspiracy here. I love these guys. And I do think white people need to be beat. Look, I think these people are crazy. I get it. Okay? Like, Does that look unbiased to you? Woke? All this shit? Censored? Don't make me defend Kotaku because I'm not going to do it. Okay? This is a crazy lady who wrote a crazy You literally thing. are doing it. No, it's what I'm you guys not. do. You say no, the no, opposite. No, 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 no. It's you guys. Stop that. Stop it. I have nothing to do with this. Activist. I'm not defending it. Uh -huh. Okay? I'm just saying we can talk about what's actually happening instead of inventing extortion. <laughs> it's a mafia. It's not a mafia. You're buying protection by hiring these protection fuckheads. Protection what? There's not bad this press. Shit does not have Kotaku, bad press and high Kotaku ESG scores. Does not have any power to influence a game's uh, sales ability. This is a useless website. So uh, it's any, not about influencing any, any sales. It's, it's about uh, influencing your, your ESG score. That's a different thing. Okay, that's a different thing. Amazing how the same mafia does both of them. Well, okay, so explain what you think is happening with the ESG score. For, for, let's finish this topic. Go ahead. Okay. Uh huh. You're saying that all these video game journalists will get together and they'll call your game sexist and racist. They'll and call you, you sexist and racist. Okay. And they will destroy you I unless think you hire game them. Game journalists will do that regardless of who you hire. No, if you hire them, you're fine. That's not how that works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because they can fuck up to look. I've seen game journalists go at trans developers for telling trans stories wrong. I've seen them go at black right. developers for telling black stories wrong. Right for dang it Hiring wrong. Hiring sweet baby does not give you a shield. It That's lets not a you thing. say it right. It lets you say it right. And anybody in your studio who has a slightly different point of view is gone. Excommunicated, racist, misogynist, whatever. This Whether is, they're trans or not. This is a typical it's a fucking consultancy mafia. The firm. mafia killed Italian people too. Okay, this is like if Bud Light went, "Hey, we're thinking about hiring uh, Dylan Mulvaney. What do you think?" They would, if they were smart, they would have hired a consulting firm. The consulting firm would have said, "I don't think that's a good idea," and here's why. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean the consulting firm, if they did hire Dylan Mulvaney, was then going to go out and go, look, trans beer, that's a conspiracy, okay? That's something that is unproven. It's and not would... surprising to me that you are denying 
this totally normal practice. Which uh, you have no evidence of. Uh, look around, jackass. Fire up Netflix it's, okay. uh, during February. It's just black stories, black, 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 black. Wow, is there anything but that's you're not 100% you're black? Are okay. you racist? You don't like black inclusion of this? So no, no, I mean, I just, I'm at my limit of watching black movies today. So if Netflix doesn't do a Black History Month uh, selection of movies, what are you proposing happens? Um, that triple A cabal of journalists dead? come in and destroy Netflix. Uh, partially, yes. I don't think that's true. <laughs> How are you this? I think if Netflix naive have a, I think they give them ideas for how to add stupid diversity shit, but uh -huh. they don't say. And if you don't, we're going don't, to we're come gonna fuck with you. Oh yeah, they say. And if you put this in, people, are, the media is going to love it. You're going to win all kinds of awards. Uh, that, and if you do, the companies, BlackRock, uh, the hedge funds mm. that fund that constantly pump free the government's free money, our free money into your company, are going to keep paying you to keep your company afloat even if you have bomb after bomb after bomb because your esg score which we guarantee by making everyone a black lesbian is going to be is going to satisfy their investment requirements they rank every company in the world on how many black lesbians you have in your shit yeah. and then we invest in the top 30 percent we give you free money and which of the companies that sweet baby worked with got a black rock investment so sony i mean I what are you talking about? Sony's not what Sony got a black every rock big, investment. Yes, every big company uh, is. Um, do you want to see the list of companies that BlackRock invests in? And you're saying the only reason BlackRock gave Sony money is because God of War has a black lady in it. Um. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're, do you not know what an ESG score is? I know what an ESG score. What is it is. to you then? What do you mean? What is how it many to black me? lesbians you have in your stuff? Right. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, and, and it's like, a weird diversity score. I don't know how it's calculated or whatever. Black lesbian. But it's not the only thing that these companies invest in. And I think they've even said that like companies have moved away from using that as a valuable investment gauge. So they did use it. Uh, I think some of them, yeah, yeah. There's, they, yeah, they used it. And they it. quote unquote moved away from that. Look, it's why? A, it's a because people found out about it and got pissed off. Oh, we call it DSG now. Look, all that stuff can be. Ha See, this is what's driving me nuts. Is that yes. All this stuff can be happening, all right? It is stupid that companies are investing all this money in diversity shit, and then they're being rewarded with more money for investing in useless diversity shit. Why do you think that happens? Well, why, I don't know. Why do you think it happens? The SG scores. No, but you're saying why are they – I thought you were asking me why they invest in diversity shit. I think it's just liberal guilt or something like why that. Why is Gabe Hoffman on uh, Ethan Van Skyver's show right now Make money. promoting the so Sasuke sisters? Well, How that does that make money? Right. Okay, so what is he doing then? <laughs> you tell me. You got it all. I mean, you got you got it all figured out that there's no conspiracy. Well, tell me, what does it look like on the surface? I think what it looks like on the surface to me is a bunch of liberals believing that it is uh, socially conscious. It's the same as they, uh, you know, track your uh, score in, in terms of uh, environmental impact. You're supposed right. to invest. The e. Yeah, is that the E in yeah. the ESG? Uh huh. Okay, environmental, social, I think and. So. I governance. Governance. I okay. So it's all so, so there's DEI, there's ESG, there's MSG. Yeah, whatever. environmental, social, and governance. Sure. Okay. So that's one part of the equation. I guess my thing is always with a the conspiracy theory. I think it's far less it's not a interesting. Theory. They're 100% honest about their ESG scores. Who, who Hedge is? funds. Hedge BlackRock, funds. Vanguard. Yes. yes. The I agree. companies that own the I know, US government. I know this is happening and they're uh -huh. investing in it. And you're saying, but now it has reached the point where there are journalists. What are the journalists getting out of it? A job. There's no reason to employ these people. Okay. The sweet baby people, there's no, they provide zero value. Well, but I'm saying there's journalists outside of their organization. You're saying they're working Every with. single diversity. There's, um, how many people did I say were in DEI last time we talked about this? 30,000? Sure. There's, there's 30,000 people directly working Look, for DEI. Look, you have a fascinating theory, but, like, why can't you just— How's that a theory? That's ex an exact number of people that are working I'm in DEI. I'm saying, like, uh, you got to find me, uh, like, a journalist who's being directly employed because of, like, DEI. and it, Like, okay, Kotaku is owned by— uh, You're going to say that journalism is not— like just looking to make stories out of this shit now, but I'm Is saying like Kotaku's owned by Jim Spanfeller. He's a guy who just uh, I don't think he gives much of a shit about this diversity shit. He just kind of bought this thing and uh, ran it into the ground because he uh, didn't realize journalists are a bunch of. Fucks. You think Disney's trying to cram diversity into everything? Sometimes 
Oh, sometimes. Not every. Why is Aragorn black in the Magic the Gathering uh, set? Because that company is run by a bunch of liberal fuck. I see. Man. How did that happen? That happened because they all hire their friends. Like, there's nepotism or whatever. It's Why? Like, did, I mean, prove to me one case of somebody hiring their friends. I'm, t I'm totally oblivious to this But you're saying, like, BlackRock is responsible for Magic the Gathering being full of, like, pink-haired weirdos? Partially, I think it's yeah. just... No, I think it's just... People. Why do they get more money, then? Why do failing companies get constantly get more money for failing? I would need to see these investments. I would need to see... Like, which company... You're talking about which company is failing and being given this money? Sweet Baby... Uh, the company's no, making Sweet Baby's making money because big studios get money from investors, hedge funds, to pay them. Okay, they but just like nonstop buy God of DEI. War, okay, is a critically acclaimed game. It made a ton of money. Sweet Baby worked on that. Spider Man Two made a ton of money. Alan Wake Two they critically got that gay acclaimed prom scene or whatever it was. Every uh, yeah, okay. When you make a triple A <laughs> game now, stupid. whenever you make a triple A project, especially you know, I think a lot of these studios are based out of L.A. There's going to be a bunch of gay guys working on them, and one of them's going to go, "Can I put a pride flag and Spider Man's high school?" And you. Go, yeah, man. Ultimate team but guy. Not, I knew you would team guy this shit. It's not team guy. It's that some of this shit. Okay. Uh huh. Sweet baby. Just happened totally organically because everybody likes it so much. Ethan Van Skyver didn't get banned from an entire industry because he didn't because he wasn't touting the company line, right? That's I just think, a total coincidence. I think the reason it's happening is not a bizarre global political financing it's scheme. It's not bizarre. It's just liberal. Right, yeah. Liberals are just being cuckold weirdos and being like, I want to put a bunch of gay stuff and black stuff in here. And I'm going to punish and kill anyone who doesn't agree. I'll get them fired. I'll, I want white people beat in the street. No one is going who to- did, Sorry, what was that tweet no then? No one is going I want white to get, people to get fired because they didn't hire Sweet Baby. That's not a thing, okay? There's no rule- You're changing my words. I didn't say not hiring Sweet Baby. I said not towing the company line about- LGBT, trans, all this liberal Plenty shit. Plenty of games come out that don't have any LGBT shit or any fucking uh, yeah, and they're, race swapping. And they're pilloried. They're not pilloried. Yes, they are. Um, Did Hell, 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 what is that game Hell, called? Uh, this, this is a fascist blah, 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 blah. Helldiver. Yeah, they were going to do that anyway. They do that to Warhammer or whatever. And uh -huh. Warhammer it has all that diversity shit. They still get hammered How Suicide Squad end up the way it is? I think uh, you're going to say Sweet Baby did it. I don't even think they I don't think Sweet Baby did it. Somebody liked them. There's there's hundreds of thousands yes. of consultants exactly like this. But there's also just bad writers within these organs. See, here's why it drives me nuts. Is Sweet Baby did not ruin that Suicide Squad movie or uh, game. Warner Brothers did by saying, hey, you know how you guys make excellent single-player games? Please make a multiplayer shooter. Okay? That is what ruined... Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. But now there's a bunch of people going, ah, every video game is bad for one reason, and that one reason is this stupid consulting firm, and I'm no, not going to consider of any not of the one. other information. All of what them. other one? All of them. Not every studio works with these consulting firms. They're not actually that common, I don't think. Consult DEI consulting firms? Yeah, not in the game industry. Uh, if there I was, don't know if that's right. If there was, I think we would have names of more than one of them. Oh, why? We When we found one of them, they tried to kill the guy that did it. They tried to get every account he has banned. Yeah, uh, and that's bad. I agree. That's very bad. It's not very bad. It's evil. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I wasn't strong enough no, in saying that No, because it's, it's your team. You try to downplay everything that they <laughs> do on, because you're on their on. side. I say you. <laughs> by the way, it's the same shit you did when you reported the Alex Jones shit. Oh. It's the same exact thing. Okay. I go, that's bad. It's just you go, deflection. It's not bad. It's, it's evil. It's super duper bad. How could you say it's only uh, bad? Yeah, the deflection is cute. No, I'm I know this is how you guys act no, when you get caught. Because you're all reporters. This is why, you're I, all this is why I hate that you brought this problem in. Is because we fundamentally agree on, you know, the problem with media. And the We're not the same. Don't Gabe Hoffman to me. We do not agree. We do not when agree. When you look a woman in the eyes. Liberals are evil. <laughs> they are fucking evil. You can never let them in. I'm just saying, look, you got a great concept. Why don't you do a little investigative journalism? Maybe you can start a magazine. You can get to the bottom of it. Follow the money trail. Goes to you. Okay. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm on this show because I was hired by George Soros to infect, uh, infect the dick you show You were, but sphere. you would do it. I would do it. Yeah, you, know you would do it. That would be funny. Uh-huh. Same, But I would have worked for the Russians to spread Russian propaganda. So if it's funny, I'll do it. I'm just saying, look, it's a cute conspiracy. <laughs> okay. At the end of the day, I think there's just game studios that go, 
ah, let's just hire these guys because they'll tell us, like, you know, if we're if a bunch of black people are going to be pissed off, which is a genuine concern in an area of uh, this was probably more Why of a is concern, it a concern five years ago because liberals are insane. We know this, so we should hire liberals. But to you're tell saying us. that the cancel culture mobs are being directed by secret like money slush it's not funds. Secret, they're they're very open about it. I think there's just a lot of. Like liberal idiots on Twitter, and they're not secretly being funded to say that they think the games are transphobic. They just think that about everything. Uh, a black female. Like, for instance, let, okay, let's put it this way. Like that Hogwarts Legacy game. Uh, that was, you know, a subject of a lot of trans people really hated that. Yeah. Okay. Could Warner Brothers have paid Sweet Baby and managed to negotiate their way out of that? No, it was yeah. a natural. <laughs> no, it was an organic yes. outrage. From these weirdos who hate this stuff. It's not all like this weird money game where you could pay money to have the trans people leave you alone. That's crazy. Are you nuts? No, are you, you nuts? Do you understand how a mafia works? Why would, why, then why would Warner Brothers not just pay them to get the trans mafia off their back? Uh, they probably tried to, but it's Harry Potter. Yeah, it's Harry it's Potter. Too much. You're not allowed to pay. Yeah, to with get, Harry Potter, you don't have Harry to. Harry Potter fee, they go, it's yeah, going to be Yeah, like, ah, this is going to be bad. Get all these guys off it's your gonna back. It's going to be bad. Um, Which is funny, you know. What's funny is that uh, Harry Potter game actually has like a trans character in the first like thirty minutes. So yeah, that game is actually super woke, and it's really weird that everyone goes, "Yeah, we really stuck it to the to the trans people by buying this game where you can make a trans wizard and hang out with other trans wizards." And I'm like, I don't think you won necessarily. I mean, Harry Potter won at the end of it. Uh, create moments that are intentionally targeted and designed to create joy in the marginalized. They're going to appreciate this on a level that your core audience won't. It well, doesn't mean you're going to exclude your core audience. Look, and I think people are going to obviously cite your video where this lady goes, go and scare them, put the fear of God in them. She's saying to programmers, look, if you share concerns that you're worried that you're... Okay. Uh, I love that you just, like, reflexively defend people who are objectively evil. There, That's your party line. Hold on. There is value to looking at what you're making and going, okay, is this... Uh, is my mark? How is the market going to react to this? Negatively. Okay, I'll give a personal example. Can I tell a little anecdote? I worked on a game. Okay. Uh huh. You know what? I, should, I I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this. So I, I know how liberals. I know the scam. It's I know the. Scam. I'm just like you. I'm human too. Let me in. Scam. It's not a scam. Okay. Get an axe. I was working a on trick. a game, and the guy working on it. You know, he goes, "Oh, we got all this concept art. You know, these are going to be like the." The cutscenes and the storyboards. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, and what's happening here? He goes, well, I got four black guys, and they're all uh, around this white guy, yeah. and they're taking his money. Yeah. And I'm like, he's, he's, he's got his bag of, uh, it was like a fantasy game. And it's like, oh, he's got his bag of gold, and he's hiding from all these black people, you know, clutching his bag of gold. And I go, okay, so a white guy is about to be robbed by four black guys. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's part of the game. If the liberal press hears about this, they're going to destroy us. I said, Unless we pay them. I said in isolation that might be okay, but like, what else do you have? And he's like, well, here, there's a bunch of Native American uh, guys, and they're being snuck up on by a bunch of white guys who are like yeah. hiding in the bushes. I'm like, love it. And what are they going to do? Oh, they're going to go into their village and kill all of them. And I'm yeah. like, okay, well, that also seems bad for what you're trying to do, which is like all ages, whatever yeah. game. It's yeah. like there's racial overtones that maybe you miss because there's certain blind spots. And you go, well, do all the people robbing the white guy have to be black? Maybe he could also... You know, it's like those old, uh, what do you call it? The home <laughs> burglary. Put a white guy in there. Yeah, white, white guy in there. Yeah, why not? White guys. That's normal. And let's let's be real. Is it? We all know it's silly when the Briggs commercial comes on. You go, oh, that that white guy with his striped shirt it's or whatever. Silly, Vito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. We don't think it's funny. Does Briggs home security bet? Would they benefit from going? Ah, you know, you got a lot of black people breaking in. Don't worry, we got Briggs home security. No, because they also want to sell burglary alarms to black people. They don't want to be interpreted as like uh, this liberal this bullshit you're, you're it's fucking not, selling. It's good marketing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Good marketing with no numbers, just terror. Briggs home. Good marketing Briggs with home. No numbers to back it up. Just fear. Of being destroyed by a mob. Briggs has been in business for a long time. and They must know what they're doing. Well, I'm saying they've said we are, we're able to effectively market our product with a bunch of white burglars. Who's they? Uh, Briggs. Who's the, they the saying company. that? Marketing people? 
I don't know, man. It's just they're not out of business. You're still selling those fucking home security devices, and you're saying it's awful to to talk to a team of consultants who go, well, I just think you know, black consumers uh, don't like seeing a bunch of black guys coming in, going, where the white woman at? Give me all the white women. So maybe take that funny. out of the commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's a- happening. That's what's happening. Brinks commercials. That's the biggest. That's the biggest and best example of this. I think that was a pretty good this. example. It's I think retarded. It- no, it's <laughs> it's like a stand up comedy routine. It's an, yeah, God forbid I do comedy yeah, or yeah, a comedy yeah. podcast. <laughs> I'm saying you can have even though look, we all know it's silly, we all make fun of those ads. Uh, you know, it's just the op- the other option is to piss off a bunch of black people and not be able to get their money. So that's your response to a coordinated effort by a company to get uh, someone's life destroyed. Because they pointed out that the diversity consultants are working on. I all already these games. said that I th- that. And employee- then every press, every journalist ran screen for them and said they're getting death threats. Blah blah blah. But here's here's the a thing. Fucking Brinks I, commercial. Okay, I worked with these people. I know these Through sweet people. baby ink. No, the fucking game journalists. Okay, I've met. They're these all people. evil. They're all very stupid. Okay. No, they're worse than stupid. At this point, you, they can't get the stupid Well, shield. I've been out of the game a while. If everybody got a DEI grant the second I left, I'm very jealous. They're just I bad. Should have stuck around. But I think that these are people who would have gone on these stupid little crusades and, in, you know, ignored the convenient facts to support their friends. There's, It's friendship. Yeah, there's a lot of friends and nepotism and whatever else. Mm-hmm. But when you start saying it's like in a, a crazy money web and extortion, it's not crazy. That's that's how Vanguard invests. That's how BlackRock I'm so invests. Mad. Do you smirking I'm so mad. at it? But they have ESG scores for this reason. You just want to start Gamergate too because you think it'll get Trump elected. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. Desperation. If I can you convince, desperately if squirm. I can convince the gamers. That uh, Biden's gonna take their Isn't video Alex Jones games somewhere. Away. Shouldn't you go report them? Maybe I will, will that make your ESG superiors happy? Didn't the last? You think that these the people are your friends because of a Trump election? You think that these people are your friends? I think we're building towards a repeat of a certain. Uh, falling you think they out. would do what they for you? What you do for them? But they won't. I don't, I'm not they friends with these people. You. I critique these people constantly. I've they don't want to critique you. They want to all kill you. week. And uh, I guess I can reveal it now. On Tuesday, I will have Jason Schreier. Uh, former uh, Kotaku Bloomberg journalist, now working independently, and he will be on my show, and we're going to discuss the sweet baby situation. You guys uh, will situation. deflect together. That's going to be amazing. I'm gonna add, you it's know going to be a beautiful ballet of deflection. I don't know everything that's going on, so if anybody has any pertinent... I have said... I'm sure he'll fill you in. You already think it's a crazy conspiracy. Like, you're already, you're already so heavily biased against anybody trying to fuck over, like... <laughs> Um, white people, There's that it's a lot farcical of- to think you'd be unbiased. See, this is- You're it, so in the tank for them. This is infuriating to me because there are genuine policies that we can actually point to. For instance, that- ESG. Yeah, there, and I pointed out the story recently. There's a guy who's been writing for whatever fucking Navy SEAL show for the last seven seasons, and he goes, uh, can I be a staff writer? I wrote the season finale of the show. I feel like I should be a staff writer by now, and they're like- yeah, first we got to hire this black right. guy, though. Yeah. And then we got to hire this trans lady. Right. And he's actually suing them. He's taking them to court. And he's going, it is actually ridiculous. Uh-huh. This is, like, completely unfair that I am a seasoned writer who has multiple episodes, yeah. and I've been passed up for a staff writing position multiple times. And that is a far more credible and understandable situation that I'm 100%. I hope that guy wins. That is discrimination. Because your friends aren't doing it, and your friends are Stop game calling them my friends. I am friends with – I'm not friends with any game journalists at this point in time. Remember that. <laughs> Whoa, who am I friends with that's a game journalist? I'm not. Anybody I know who was a game journalist says, yeah, all those game journalists are fucking crazy now. Yeah, and racist. They're, yeah, they're nuts. They're doing this. They're the same people who destroyed Vice. With fa- Last episode, I brought in crazy journalists destroying the things I love, and now you are twisting all of that to say that I'm friends with them and you I are. want You're them to succeed. You're running a screen for you. You've been defending them all week. Shut up. You've been defending them all week. Shut up. I have not been defending them at all. This is such bullshit. <sighs> Just because I go, look, this conspiracy is a little far-fetched. Why don't we focus on the facts of what's actually happening? What part of it's far-fetched? It's far-fetched that you're saying that it's an extortion scheme with journalists being paid off. That's that's. I didn't something- say they were paid off. I said it's an extortion scheme. Okay, it's an extortion scheme from a company, and they're friends with journalists, and the journalists want them to make money, or what? Um, or they? What do you mean, or what? Are they write bad? You're stuff saying the about journalists them? want to help Sweet Baby out because they're friends? 
Uh, not because they're friends, just because they're liberals. So they're all and working they together. What Sweet Baby does is valuable. Uh, yeah. Yes. All they write about is they're all marketers. Sure. So they're all just inventing the racist problem so they have more value. Of okay, and it. I agree with that, and that's fine. But that's not that's extortion. Yes, it is. Do this or else. That's extortion. They're not saying do this or else. Yes, they are. No, they they're are. saying hi, do this, put a black lesbian in your game, or else we're going to write bad about you and destroy they're your saying, company. It's a nice little game you got there. It'd be shame if... Somebody were to write a hit piece on. See, that's the other thing. Is uh, you're also. Hey, uh, why don't you guys have your real names and your pictures tied to any of your photos? Why would you want that? Right, why would just, the journalist want that? We're just going down a ramp. Why would the journalist want that, right, Vito? Right. Vito, why would the journalist want their real names? Okay. Why would the journalist want their real names? Gamergate too. Why would the journalist want Gamergate their real names? Too. I'm why so would the journalist excited. want their real Ooh, names? Maybe, maybe Milo Yiannopoulos will this come out. This is why you. Fucking, this uh, is why you can never. I can't wait to hear Sargon This is why you should never have a conversation with liberals. Maybe Matt Jarbo will have a resurgence if we get a fucking million Monday. Matt why would she want the names? Milo fucking... Why would she want their names? Enjoy your gamer game. Why would she I want their names? I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Why wouldn't... I hope it's just as Why would she want their names? And Give me bombastic. one good reason. Are you trying to think of a good reason? I don't even know what you're talking about. You're saying their names aren't on the website? Not on the Discord. The, uh, the author of the first Sweet Baby Inc. defense piece, yes. the one who said that white people should be assaulted the in the street. lady, who I don't like and I am not defending. But you're on the same team. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Stop saying I'm on their team. You're the most teaminous team. So I'm not. <laughs> I talk shit about these people all the fucking time. Yeah, just like uh your your friends. Like you talk shit about your friends. Bro, don't do this. <laughs> what? Don't do this. <laughs> Please don't do this. <laughs> you are. Please don't do this. Don't do this thing <laughs> where the audience is going to come away from the show and they're going to go, "Wow, I didn't know Stop Vito. Your I didn't know Vito was I friends with up. Sweet Baby and he's friends with Kotaku." It sounds like it. all this stuff that I very clearly <laughs> opposed and have opposed on so many. No, levels. no, not enough. Just because I don't believe every single, you know, theory. And you know what? No, you, this is a big one. I'm willing, sure, I'm willing to entertain it. Just show me the money trail. Show me evidence. Show me what they actually changed in the White game. White people need to get their ass beat. Okay, let me I, go. Is that how you feel about that? It's bad. It's bad. How, how do I have to say it's bad so that you believe me? Because apparently saying it's bad doesn't I count. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to find the, the asking for their... Asking. asking for their oh you can't be racist against white people she also I tweeted that. out that they should not be saying those things that's All right? not good enough uh here what it is do you want here's me to the do? is there is there a reason why many of you don't have your names pictures associated with your accounts on there that's what the journalist that's what she, she heard asked. that sweet baby ink was being attacked and she went into their discord and said hey any of you uh kids want to give me your these people are incompetent journalists evil they're very bad at what they do <laughs> And they have crazy ideas. How do you, okay, what do you want me to say? You're right. They're the spawn of Satan. Is that enough? Like, what do you, what do I have to say? To, Deflection. To convince you. <laughs> I'm so done. Deflection. You're right. I love all of them. You do. We're all working together. You we're do. all friends. I'm sending them secret information. I actually You're work. You're not friends. You no, wish you were I friends. actually work for Sweet Baby secretly. That black guy is causing that. all that trouble. Yeah, me yeah. And him, you would uh, love that. hang out all the time. <laughs> I'm secretly working for the George Soros funded DEI initiative. Well, anyway, that's my problem. I brought in all the woke problems when the show started, and then I had to bring that it back fake. down. That was fake to convince people that, like Gabe Hoffman, to convince. That is what Soros that told me to side, do. You're not. That's what Soros told me. He said you no. always have to be careful. <sighs> he said, "Get in with those people, sell yep. them your woke comic book. You don't have then, to make uh, it though. Throw them. To the, you don't have to make it." DEI. What did no I say? Figure that, Diversity. No, figure that out. Uh, no, figure mafias. out that part of the plan. Diversity extortion mafias. No figured out the uh, secretly make a bad comic part of the plan. Oh, do I get to play the video where Noel says he wants to kill you today? If someone pays twenty bucks, I'll play it. Yeah, I um. Now, now I agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your last problem? That guy he's on with when he's like, I want to fucking murder Vito or whatever. Even that guy was like, Hey, bro, I'm on YouTube right now. You're not really supposed to say that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, look, man, I'm not going to report you or whatever, but, uh... But, you know, you better keep your DEI, your ESG scores up. I wouldn't up, say I want to kill somebody on YouTube. Jesus fucking Christ, I shouldn't even put that Jewish song up there. I don't know why you did that. Yeah, I'm going to take it down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit, I can't find it. All right, well, you can keep searching yeah. for it. Uh, before we do any of this UBI stuff that you're talking about, we got to figure out how to... That I'm know. talking about, because I'm the one pushing UBI.
Yeah. Yeah. And me and my friends. Way, me and my you friends. You and your friends. At Kotaku and Sweet Baby. <sighs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to be so mad reading the comments on this episode. Because you are defending them. Not defending them. I just, You're pretending like it's an insane conspiracy. I want, I want information. Uh, you have it all. It's right there. Okay. It's see condescending. That's why. That's why people will I'm rightfully not being abuse you in the comments. Why don't you take it and arrange it into a loving article form? Because we did that every time we give you election fraud, can you print laugh it at it and distribute it globally. Yeah. To the readers. Yeah. You yeah, know. You, you got your first article, Dick. There you go. No, 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 no. I'm not going to write. Well, then no one will ever know the truth. Because the only way to get out information is with uh, a slow Republicans do. Periodical. Conservatives and non non liberals know the truth, but liberals are oh they're good at getting the truth out. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. Non liberals look at a bunch of fat women with dyed short hair, yeah. and they know immediately what's going on. The like, Republicans, yeah, all, all of the, not Republicans, non liberals, right, non liberals, right, right. non liberal media, right. Non liberals. I, not love, media. I love Stop when I want, adding words. When I to... want the straight dope, I, I know I can tune in to uh, like a guy like Tim Pool, you know, and he can go. No, he's liberal. I'm going to tell Tim you. Tim Pool is liberal. <laughs> okay. He's very liberal. Sure. He's also wormed his way into non liberal. Oh, he's circles. part of it. He's part of it. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you guys have all the fun you want with Gamergate, too. I don't care. Do whatever you want. We're not, it's not fun. We're just trying it's, to. You're having fun. We're trying to protect ourselves from, uh, <laughs> from you what? flaggers like you and these sweet baby people. I'm gonna urge you guys to. Uh, there are there are serious problems that can be solved. Black lesbians. This lawsuit. This guy suing to uh, make sure white guys can get hired to work on shows. He won that. The stuff. With, I don't, he hasn't won it yet. Oh, there's one today that. That he won. Oh, that somebody, well, that a guy won, that a white guy won. I will have to read that. Uh, <laughs> the lawsuits against Harvard to make That's sure. That's Asian people problem. That's not us. It also affects white people. Yeah, but Asian people have that. Hey, you get a leg up as a Hispanic, so you you should be fighting yeah. against that. I already went to college. I already went to college. What do you care? <laughs> uh, there are I, these problems are out there. Uh, I think the problem of a company willingly hiring a consulting firm. And possibly following their advice of their own volition. See, uh, no one believes that even you believe what you're saying. I genuinely believe that it is optional. When you say to genuinely, we know people. you're lying. Because not every company hires them. Some of the big ones choose to because they have been convinced that there are, you know, ESG scores. PRs, but they have to make PR blunders. And it's not, if you if can, you think there's something more important than getting free money from a hedge fund, you're insane. Okay, but here's the thing is that they're already doing that. For like okay, for instance, one of the things that they said is like God of War already made one of the Viking ladies black. Sweet Baby didn't do that. The only thing Sweet Baby did was make it so the black lady, I don't know, got different lines of dialogue. But that doesn't bring up your ESG score. They don't track that. Hiring the consultant they just track... brings up your ESG score. Okay. Well you would have I mean okay. Prove you it. don't even know. Prove what? How ESG scores work? Yeah, prove how ESG scores are ta calculated. Show me something that says, did you hire a consulting firm? If so, you get plus five points. I'm sure hedge funds are, uh, they're notoriously honest, right? Hedge funds, you would say? I. Yes or no? <laughs> if you had to rank um, serial rapists and hedge fund managers, who would you say is All more of honest? All this relies on me just believing you because I because it's fun. We don't care if you believe. Okay. The non-liberals know this is happening, and we're just going to use it to but mock you, you for don't saying stupid know shit. It's happening. You think it's happening? Okay. And then you're what's that say? ESG risk. You see that? I'm not going to even look at it. Company ESG risk rating. Okay. Nintendo's you, you ever heard of this? ESG stock, stock risk DeVito, rating. Morningstar. Okay. And how did they arrive at this number? Just call them up. Hedge fund guys. No, let's see. Does it no, say? Hedge, uh, hedge fund guys are uh, notoriously honest, uh, straightforward. Um, they wouldn't, um, you know, drown a kid to make a dollar. I'm sure they'll tell you the straight up reason why, uh, how their ESG score is calculated. Okay. 
It's not a measure of it's possible hiring a consulting firm brings up your ESG score. I just think that would be very easy to find that information and prove it. It's easy to, it's totally easy to measure uh, environmental impact. That's like a non subjective, totally objective score that you could arrive at. How does the company know that hiring this consulting firm will bring up their ESG score? That was communicated to them in some way. Otherwise, are you aware of marketing? You okay. buy the right beer, you're going to get laid. You well, understand how marketing works? But there's not a single person within this organization, within any organization, who can come out and say, you see that oh, well, the way you can raise your ESG score is hiring these guys, because the second you hire them, it goes on like this report, and that brings you up five points. How do you think the world works? I think how do you think? People, why do you think that woman's giving a TED Talk where she says, terrify your executives into making the right call. It was not a TED, with TED talk. It was a game developer conference. Right, that's the right part. That's the part that you should be focusing on if you're deflecting. She's doing marketing. She's saying, well, if you don't hire us, anything could happen. Yeah, and somehow we have an ESG score on Morningstar, Sustainalytics. Okay. So what just, could that possibly mean? I, All of it's bullshit. I, e, the S, and the G. All bullshit. But I'm sure they have some sort of video game be, scoring I think, algorithm. I think that... The way the algorithm works, if it works the way you're talking about, it would be very not impossible to find that information and just present it instead of just speculating. The way that you think um, these companies work at this level with trillions of dollars involved is uh, farcically fantastic. That you don't they think have there's a single delineated. person in any of these marketing firms who's a little bit cynical and goes, this is kind of stupid. And if somebody asks me how it works, I'll go, yeah, you know, we got to hire these guys. Loose lips and a Project Veritas guy will come in and get them on camera talking about how it works. You got Project Veritas. Why doesn't he just get these guys, get them liquored up, tell them he's going to blow them, and then they, they spill all their secrets? What would they spill? They would say, oh, why do you guys hire those sweet baby guys? And they go, oh, it's great. We got a great deal. BlackRock. They say, if you hire these guys, we'll bring your ESG score up 10 points. Just get that. See, is it the 10 that you're focusing on? Like, do you need it to be a concrete number? I want. How do you fuck? Do you think hedge funds work? I want to. If the score is just going up by virtue of having diversity in the content, yes, you know, okay, but then you don't need to hire Sweet Baby to do that. You that can makes just it put more. a black person in there. But what if your competitors are hiring them? Why? I would better it? hire them too. I better be more or, diverse than them. Well, you okay, but you could just do that by just saying the game's just all black people. Why? Okay, if it's true that the most important thing is to just bring up your ESG score. Right. Why do they not just make every game all black and gay people? Uh, have you not seen Netflix right, see, during February? I knew, I have you not fucking seen say. Netflix during February? <laughs> Why is Aragorn black? <laughs> all right. You're right. There's no more white You're people. You're such a team guy. There's no the biggest more team white guy there's people ever been. in video all right. games. They got rid of all the whites. <sighs> I love my It's team. amazing they can get you to root against your self-interest for no money. Because you're smarter than us. They've trained you to need to be smarter than us. Liberals, right? And that's the payoff? Every every movie I see, I went to go see Dune, and I was like, ah, you know, it's just all black people the whole way down. Well, there was a white guy. There's a lot of white guys in Dune. The bad guy. And the good guy. Actually, both bad guys. And, well, yeah, both bad guys. That's a much better <laughs> way of putting it. They still so you got to go back about 60 years to find a property that's not been uh, uh, taken over by DEI? Well, Super Killer stars a white guy. And yeah. a, uh, what is it? A uh, God, what's her ethnicity? Persian, Persian And a Persian lady. Uh-huh. But uh, she's basically a white lady. No. What do you mean? No, yeah, she's not a white lady. Uh, Persians aren't white. Well, no, but I'm saying, like, for, for appearance's Iranian. sake. Uh, Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.